Now, as the last talk about all this, I was a little bit in doubt which type of task I should have uh, because I became a, t a title. Uh, but then when I saw over the two days now where, is the, where are the problems, I have changed a little bit the talk. I was in doubt between a more a little bit philosophical talk or principal talk or real uh, a clear technical talk. And I decided to go more for philosophical talk or in this way, because all of the other things you can read in, in the internet and so on. OK, so therefore, you know we have heard a lot about a, a, a correction, lengthening, problems, complications, and this was a complication course. And uh, our goal should be to avoid any kind of complication. You know, we should not take complication as a part of our work. You know, then it's something wrong. No, we should avoid complication. We should go back up to, a goal could be around 1% or less than 1%, but not 5, 5 10, 50%. And what are the prerequisites that we can go down with our uh, computation? And here, when we are looking about uh, corrections, uh, I will say I have some consideration. And you see there is a big list in principle. First of all, we have to ask why we need a correction. This morning, we had a, a also seen a, a case about, or yesterday, with, with, a, with a purpose. We said all, as an expert, no correction. It was not a correction. No. You know, the most intellectual work of a surgeon is to say, no, we don't need an operation. To make an operation is very easy. Everybody can make an operation. But to take the decision here not to make an operation takes much more discussion with the parents, more wide shoulder, and so on, more responsibility. Why we need a correction? Then we have to think about Etiology, origin of the deformity. Location, segment. It's not seg every segment is the same. The degree, monopolar, multiplanar. How to correct? Acute or gradually? You know, we discuss this always. Correct planning of the osteotomy is also uh, uh, important. And as well, which equipment? Cast plate, nail, X-fix. If X-fix, monolateral ring. You see, in the meantime, we have so many options. But not every option gives the, good, the same result or is suitable for this uh, special. You cannot go with a Formula One car on the Mont Everest or over a Swiss pass, you know? It's not possible because of the street. Okay, you need the correct seat. And when is the best time, especially for kids? We discussed this as well. So the first, I guess, is the crucial question is why we need the correction. Is the cl a correction clinical relevance? What is the implication? The problem of the patient. We have to analyze this, of course. This is important. We have to know children, if the bone did not heal in a correct anatomical way or deformed, is congenital. Acquired, we have on the other side, post infocus around the physis, trauma, physis. But this is also perhaps, you know, I give always some provocative statements. Trauma of the diaphysis, if you have a shaft trauma, only a wrong assessment of the remaining modeling capacity or wrong treatment of the shaft fracture in children ends up in a deformity as this is mostly surgeon related. This is different around the joint, but the shaft, we should go for a, a correct advice. Why is a correction necessary? Is this a biomechanical reason? It's only a cosmetic reason. What shall be achieved with the correction? Restoration of the mechanical axis, restoration of the length, restoration of the cosmesis, and then again, when should be uh, the correction made at the correct time? When we look here, some main points in blue. So for me, uh, for technical reason, the three, four, five, and seven are the most important because this is what we are doing. We have to consider about the location, the segment, the degree because it's the measurement for the planning, how to correct acute or gradually, we have to decide. And of course, we have to think about the equipment. When you have a look at this picture, this was a boy who had an accident one year ago, burn injury on the lateral side, a lateral side with a, a then disclosed problem. 
No, very often people are waiting because it's only one year after accident. But when you are waiting, 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 increasing deformity. So you have to go for deformity. Of course, Bab Peter Silvius would say, we go here for an eight plate. But uh, I guess when we see the fibula here and all this, uh, I decide not to, to use an eight plate. I use the, here then you will see later, uh, mon a, a fix X. Here another situation, congenital radial club hand. Okay, when you should the radial club hand be corrected? We do this in the first year with the correct equipment. That means we make lengthening centralization of the hand all in one step, that the child has the highest profit. He gets a longer arm, aligned hand, then we can go for a fixation. As you can see, for this you need such baby ears of devices. Acquired, this is different post-traumatic, because up to the uh, tra trauma, the, leg, uh, the legs or the arm were similar, okay? And then the deformity starts. So this is completely different. Here, another trauma, 45-year-old uh, man had this fracture. And this is also typ so typical what happens. Then the fracture was treated with a, a plate. <coughs> then they get an infection. So then the decision was resection, plate and space with gentamicin. Again, no healing. Then a big problem, after two years they came to me. So we cannot solve the problem. Okay, let us do a refixator, a resection, bone transport, and then, uh, as we heard before, also we can get, go then for an internal plate. But this patient lost two years, you know? And when a worker is two years away from the job, he will never go back, okay? Here is another situation, of course. This is a boy, it's only seven years, he had this incomplete femoral neck fracture. Was treated in a hip spica, no additional uh, fixation, and it looks good and he it healed. But when he came in after some year, he was walking in this way, as you see, a malrotation in the proximal femur. Why this happens? Nobody can, could uh, explain. But that from this fracture here, we came to this, of course, here you have to make the correction, and we did it uh, in the traditional way with a plate. See, at this situation, this is a clear situation, this is a joint after infection, you know? And what is important to know in a joint, there is mostly not, even if you have the infection on one side, because of the growing, the adaptation of the contralateral side, you have to recognize that means very often then you need a bi-level correction not only one side correction, and this could be a win. Question, manner of the deformity, virus, valgus, anticorrelation, all this. But we know in children, in children, because of the growing, there is mostly a combination. And please do not make a correction in this way. So, how to fix the correction? There are different options today we have to think about. Yes, when you have varus valgus, internal or external fixation. Of course, varus valgus has a monoplural fixation. You can do this with a acute, with a plate, but also with external fixator. Anti-recurvation as a monoplural fixation. You can do this internal as external. You know, here, in some situation, if it's not in the shaft, it's around the knee, we can do this with the eight plate, but in the shaft you have to go for another reason, but you can't do this plate or internal external. Rotation is the same, shortening is the same, lengthening is the same, but if we have combined, then mostly the external fixation is more adequate. Not only the bony factors are important when we go for a corrections. Local factors use skin condition, infections, scar adhesion, contractures, and don't forget patient factor, compliance, education, family motivation. This is very important. Very often we neglect. I remember now, uh, we, three weeks ago, we started a forearm lengthening in the patient. In principle, after two weeks, we said, we should not do this because the family is so uncompliant that we get every day in a new problem, you know? This is a problem. Not the child is the problem here, the parents. Made the physical deformity without the legacy pregnancy, ankle joint around the knee, all this, as you see, is important. There are some general rules. Internal fixation means acute correction. External fixation can be acute, but also gradual. Uh, Peter will say, okay, internal fixation can also be uh, gradual when we have the ability uh, to manipulate 
the growth plate. New technique, gradual correction by external fixation after correction convert to internal fixation. This is nowadays when we need a great correction, the way. Okay, so some example. You know this is an acute correction in deep pseudotrosis. You can do this, you measure this. First of all, as we discussed over the day, you see we make functional abduction view to see what is the result, and then I can go for a correction. This is from a workshop in Colombia. We show uh, external fixated acute correction and fixation then by a plate. This is a good way to do this. Or here, the measurement, all this, the planning, and then you go for a correction in different ways, as you can see here. And then you can make a, right. no, no. Yeah. You can make this a correction, uh, as a, a dome right. correction, go back. and fix it with a plate. No. OK. As I mentioned, sometimes, especially in kids, you need a double correction. Of course, you can say perhaps you can do this with a plate as well, but it was a little bit late. The remaining growth was very short. So in, and in this situation, we made the combination between the plate, the distal correction, and the gradual correction for lengthening in addition on the lower leg. A big problem are lesions around the elbow, like here, in neglect montecho lesions, try to operate in an open way, uh, uh, open way, then end up with synostosis and all this. The way to correct this nowadays in my hand is the ring fixator, why the ring fixator? We need to transfix the radius as well, that he, the radius is following one to one. Other equipments, you know, all these are available nowadays, and in principle, you should, this, you should use this equipment, which is in your hand the best, you have the best experience, and of course, which is available. Plate internal fixated as well. Combination is very frequent, as mentioned, here you see such an adult patient. He had the shortening and had this operation here, an operation here. Then Professor Zicker called me to make the lengthening. And you know, we, we, I put in a plate first, and then over the plate, it, the plate was fixed here. The plate was initially here, then we pulled the plate down, lengthening, then we fixed the plate and removed, you see it here, how it works. Before, the plate was over the trochant, and now it's here with a, a circle it's fixed to the plate, gliding inside, and then you could fix it and remove the plate. Of course, such a situation is clear, such a situation is clear that we have to go for a correction. Different correction in other patients, like an Olia disease, you know, lengthening, correction, and then plating is the modern way. Today, as you can see, this is a a child of a colleague of mine. As a last example, deformity, rotational deformity. What is the problem here? You can say yeah, it's a standing film. This is not clear that this is a rotational failure. Do you have MRIs or whatever to measure internally what is the deformity? But you see the knee are in front, the leg is in this way. But when the child is sitting, we have the same situation. So I don't need the MRI or CT scan for this. What was the reason? The child had a long spiral fracture, was treated in a long ca uh, leg cast without flexion of the knee, and then he ends up. And my decision how to uh, correct this is by a ring fixator. I never do this in an acute way. Uh, by chili saw or, or horizontal uh, osteotomy, intraoperatively I make always 50% of the correction acute, and over the next two weeks, I make then the rest. Why I go in this way? If you make a planning and say you will correct 30 degrees, you do this with a plate or a nail inside, and the patient wake up and he is not happy with the correction because he could not mention how it looks after the correction. What you are doing? He can sue you or he's unhappy or you do the operation again. In my hand, I make the correction gradually over the next two weeks. The patient comes in stand in front of me with the parents. I ask, are you happy or not? He said, happy, give me the signature, that's it. Okay, never a problem. Here, after the correction. Okay, so this gives, a, a, I try to give you some examples and impression how we managed deformities 
but for me, the first part was the most important part, all the considerations we need before we start uh, lengthening and corrections. Thank you very much.